Okay, today what we're going to do is talk about transformers. And transformers are one of the most interesting things in electrical engineering, and they're absolutely essential for the efficient transmission of power through the grid, from your power stations to your house. These guys make all the difference in the efficient transmission of power. Before we start, let's write down some of the equations we've learned in electrical engineering because they're going to be the foundation of how this device works. We know power is equal to voltage times current. We know that voltage is equal to current times resistance. And when we combine these two equations, we know that power is equal to I squared R. And this is the equation we're going to take advantage of. We're going to try to get this I down by using a transformer because this is where we're going to lose power in the lines going to your house. Okay, here's a drawing of a generator and a steam turbine, or steam turbine and generator. Now let's just let's just take this let's take this power and run it right to your house. Now, when we've been doing discussions about uh, power consumption in your house, we've always assumed that the wires have no resistance in them because they're very short uh, runs. But for a standard heavy-duty copper wire, uh, you can have two ohms per mile. Per mile. So let's assume we have a 10-mile run. That means in this, in this run, just from the wire, you've got 20 ohms just from the wire, nothing having to do with, with any of the consumption at the house or the transmission here, 20 ohms. Okay, so let's, let's try to take a thousand, or a thousand volts and 10 amps, which we know is 10,000 watts, and let's put it through this circuit, or this circuit. Now, we're gonna take this equation, power is equal to I squared R, and we're gonna substitute the 10 amps that's squared, so 10 amps squared times resistance. 10 squared times 20 is 2,000 watts. So we are burning, we're wasting 2,000 watts in the transmission of power from this power plant to your house. 80, 20%, you have only 80% remaining if we don't use a transformer, okay? So this is without a transformer. Let's write that over here. 10,000 minus 2,000 and 8,000 make it. Okay, now let's put in a transformer. Well, first of all, let's talk about what a transformer is. A transformer is are two sets of windings. So you have on this side, you have a set of windings, and on the other side, you have another set of windings, and the ratio of the set of windings defines the voltage change that's going to go across it. Now this is this is like magnetism again. So you run current through one side, create a magnetic field, which then jumps across, it affects this other side because they're all in the same core. And then the, you go the other way, alternating current, and it drives the it drives the current in that direction. And the power going through a transformer is the same. So let's let's say that on this side we have our thousand volts and we have 10 amps just like before we have a thousand or 10,000 watts if we have 10 windings on this side to one winding on this side we will move we will increase the voltage on this side to 10,000 volts and we'll drop the current to one amp because we still have to have the same amount of power the, the power through a transformer is a constant but what you do is you're simply changing your voltage and your, your amperage. And this is going to make a huge difference in that transmission of power. Because now we're going to go to our, our power plant. We're going to stick a transformer before the power line. And then to your house, another transformer, a step-down transformer, and here's your house. Once again, we know, we know this is 10 miles, just like before. We know there's 20 ohms in that copper wire. That's just stuff we don't like, but it's there. So we're going to put we're going to put our thousand volts in here, and out pops our 10,000. Okay, so now what is the loss? What is the heat loss 
the resistance, the wasted energy in getting that power across. And we go to our trusty equation, power is equal to I squared R. Power is equal to I squared, because in this case, I has been dropped down to one amp, and before it was 10 amps. So now I is at one amp, so one squared times 20 is equal to 20 watts. So before, we were losing 2,000 watts to the, to the copper wire going from your the power station to your house, and now we're only losing 20. So this one, in the end, is 10,000 minus 20, or 9,980. So we've, we've saved a heck of a lot of power by putting in a transformer. Now, there's one thing that's not clear on this side, is that transformers are only 98% efficient. So when you're trying to move power across them, only 98% gets across and 2% goes up in heat in the transformer. So this would actually lose a couple hundred, maybe 400 in the inefficiencies of the transformer, but still you have um, much better performance than just a straight line. And in the real grid, the voltages are cranked up to tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands. So we really, really turn those voltages up because the current is going down by the squ it's going down by the square. So you you want to drive your voltage as high as you can. But they put up the the wires up very high in the sky, big isolators, and um, hundred thousands, two hundred thousands, huge huge voltages, because when you want to send a lot of power down it, it's voltage times current. And this the higher this is, the the lower this can be. But you, Basically, you're fighting resistance. You use really heavy gauge wires, a lot, a lot heavier than the ones we used here, um, which get the ohms for miles way down. Um, but overall, that transformer, that magical device, which just can move power from one side to the other, only 2% loss, can dramatically reduce your losses in the wires from the power station to your house. This is the backbone of the grid. Between your house and the real, and the real grid, there are a uh, minimum of five transformers, five different stages of uh, stepping up the voltage and then stepping it down when it gets to your house. So um, this is the grid. This we want to have as low as possible. We want to get um, power to your house without a lot of heat lost in the, in the transmission. That's it. Bye.